everyone Travis checking back in the tournament recap it was a couple weeks ago a little late putting this together mainly because I didn't catch any fish <laughs> so the motivation to do a video is lacking but um, so two tournaments we're gonna recap today the first one was the Palmer Classic tournament on Smithville Lake the second one was Smithville Bassmasters the final regular season tournament Smithville Lake um, the first day was team tournament fish with my dad my brother my dad, my brother, my nephew Braden all came down. Um, my brother and his son fished it together. I mean, my dad fished it together. Um, you know, we ended up with one fish pretty early in the morning. Caught it on a wacky rig. My dad caught it. You know, we caught pretty many fish that day. Just, just could never find any other keepers. Um, we caught a big catfish too. Um, but yeah, it was pretty tough. And, you know, it only took like four pounds to get a check in that tournament with about 20 boats um, and my brother I think ended up coming in fourth um, they won it last year so they're they're kind of on a streak of taking everybody's money in that one so that was real fun um, the cool part about that tournament is that we ended up raising just over eighteen hundred dollars for fishing for freedom um, which is a tournament that I'm doing next weekend um, we take a veteran out on the lake and it's no entry fee tournament it's just kind of a fun day on the lake where you get to take somebody out and get them on the water and thank them for their time and their service um, to the country so look forward to that um, the second day it was at Smithville again you know caught a good amount of fish on Saturday so I kind of figured out what I thought I could do to catch fish on Sunday but that just didn't ever um, didn't ever work out I only had two bites all day and they were both like little six inch bass on a wacky rig but it was pretty brutal so there's not really any highlights from Sunday um, I'll put some highlights from some of our fish catches on on Saturday um, together but it was pretty brutal so I went from uh, I think I was fourth in angler of the year going into that final tournament and I dropped down to seventh um, for angler of the year my buddy Mike Duggar won uh, congratulations Mike he had a great year um, he won angler of the year by 20 or 30 points so he did awesome um, I ended up finishing second in the classic points our club does a little site where it's best six tournaments go to the classic so um, I had the second best uh, six tournaments which would have been all the fish all the tournaments I caught fish in I had two zeros and six tournaments where I weighed in fish so um, that tournament's in, in uh, three weeks from today at that palm to tear look forward to that tournament um, a lot um, I've never been on palm and it's normal pool so I'll probably do a little pre-practice and then I'll be down there a couple days before that tournament to try to catch some fish. So um, be on the lookout for the the Fishing for Freedom video next weekend. I'm really excited. Hopefully we get a veteran that's okay with being on video. If not, I might uh, might not have some highlights if they don't want to be on video. So it's going to be up to them. Um, but I'm super excited to do that. I'm super excited to volunteer. My wife's also volunteering to help out down there. So I'm super excited to get down there. That's at Truman. Um, so be on the lookout for that for that video um, please subscribe and like comment share do whatever um, to follow me I really appreciate it thanks Good one. Hey, we ran with it too. Are you sure it's a good one? It's a big one, whatever it is. 
Yeah, it's a bad. Hold up. Oh, I think he's a keeper. 